Why, it's absolutely brilliant, cried the old green grasshopper when James had explained his plan. The boy's a genius, the centipede announced. Now I can keep my boots on after all. Oh, I shall be pecked to death, wailed the poor earthworm. Of course you won't. I will, I know I will, and I won't even be able to see them coming at me because I have no eyes. James went over and put an arm gently around the earthworm's shoulders. I won't let them touch you, he said. I promise I won't, but we've got to hurry. Look down there. There were more sharks than ever now around the peach. The water was boiling with them. There must have been ninety or a hundred at least. And to the travellers up on top, it certainly seemed as though the peach was sinking slower and slower into the water. Action stations, James shouted. Jump to it, there's not a moment to lose. He was the captain now, and everyone knew it. They would do whatever he told them. All hands below deck except earthworm, he ordered. Yes, yes, they said eagerly, as they scuttled into the tunnel entrance. Come on, let's hurry. And you, centipede, James shouted, hop downstairs and get the silkworm to work at once. Tell her to spin as though she's never spun before. Our lives depend on it. And the same applies to you, Miss Spider. Hurry on down, start spinning. Here comes the first seagull, whispered James. Keep still now, earthworm, keep still. The rest of you, get ready to pull. Please don't let it spike me, begged the earthworm. I won't, I won't. Shh! Out of the corner of one eye, James watched the seagull as it came swooping down towards the earthworm. And then suddenly it was so close that he could see its small black eyes and its curved beak. And the beak was open, ready to grab a nice piece of flesh out of the earthworm's back. Pull! shouted James. The old green grasshopper and the ladybird gave the earthworm's tail an enormous tug and like magic the earthworm disappeared into the tunnel. At the same time up went James's hand and the seagull flew right into the loop of silk that he was holding out. The loop, which had been cleverly made, tightened just the right amount, but not too much, around its neck and the seagull was captured. Hooray! shouted the old green grasshopper, peering out of the tunnel. Well done, James! Up flew the seagull, with James paying out the silk string as it went. He gave it about fifty yards, and then tied the string to the stem of the peach. <laughs>